everyone welcome back to my channel so yes i have not posted a video in so long and usually when i post my videos i'm either in my room or somewhere in the house but i decided to um do it in some new scenery outside um um but yeah <laughs> um also i've been busy i've been busy that's why i have not posted any videos i've just been busy um i am a first grade teacher and all my teachers out there know that teaching takes up a lot of your time and energy okay so yeah that's why i just haven't posted any videos i really didn't feel like it <laughs> but that doesn't mean i wasn't in my word though okay so yes um but yeah but now that i'm on summer break i will be posting more videos and things like that also i taken this new journey started it was january yes january um of this year i took on a new journey and ooh, flipping the page the wind is flipping the page <laughs> okay okay so yes so i've taken on this new journey of getting my master's i originally was going to get my master's in educational leadership but i decided actually no god guided me and i followed and i'm glad that i followed but i'm taking i'm getting my master's in biblical studies i absolutely love it and i just know that this is going to take me um places i just know it so i'm just really 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 excited what god has in store for me and these new journeys that he has taken me on also um i'm very involved in my church i volunteer a lot in my church with the kids with the cafe with guest services and just wherever they need me table leader wherever they need me you know i'm there <laughs> so yes i'm very involved in ministry as well so yeah i am a busy lady and whenever i'm not doing anything i like to rest okay i'm, I'm working on resting you know, so um, me having a full schedule now, because I used to not have a full schedule, but now that I have a full schedule, I appreciate resting. And that is what I'm doing this summer break is resting. Okay. <laughs> so yes. So um, yeah. So before I get into my lesson, I just want to start off with this. This is something that I was dealing with last night. And, you know, the Lord really helped me to get through it last night and I feel freed. I feel renewed. I'm just I'm full of joy and I just wanted to share a little bit and I'll make a separate video on this. But um, I just want to say, hey, listen, not everyone is going to like you. Um, there, There's going to be people who criticize you, may not see the best in you, but we don't get our identi identity identity through people we get our identity through God you know so I just say walk in the truth that God has for you you know and that is through his word not through anything else not through those new age practices tarot cards crystals um, astrology no you cannot find your identity in you being a I don't know an Aries or a Scorpio or um, a Capricorn and Pisces you cannot find your identity in that your true identity in that you can only find your identity in Christ and you know last night the Lord was just telling me to not focus on the things that people may think of me or say of me focus on how I think of you because my thoughts are higher than their thoughts my ways are higher than their ways so focus on my truth you know and walk in that walk in my truth you know and um yeah that that really released what the devil was trying to put like he was trying to just really attack my mind and just and you know the lord really released me from that bondage last night so i'm really thankful and i will make a separate video on that about walking in your truth and not walking in the criticism and thoughts of others okay because it will stop you from being the person that god wants you to be okay so yes so yeah that was just a little um pre um lesson i just wanted to share that and like i said i'll make a separate video on that so yes this lesson today is called the blow pop message so yes the reason why i say blow pop message because it's focused on one story but it has an outer layer and also an inner layer and you know the outer layer you know most people would um receive and you know it tastes good it feels good and things like that and then the inner um the bubble gum you know usually people don't really eat the bubble gum or they chew it and then spit it out because it lost its taste and things like that so um it might not be the best part of the blow pot but um it's it's it hits it hits and it really will change you you know like it it 
did help me to um, do some self-reflection and think about you know myself and um, just yeah I'll just wait till I get into it but anyways so um, yes yeah, so I am focusing on mark 11 and I am focusing on the fig tree so yes yeah, so Jesus was walking with his disciples this is verse 12 and um, he saw a fig tree in distance I'm just summarizing and he saw that it has leaves on it and when a fig tree has leaves on it it should have figs on it the fruit and so he went up to the tree and he saw that there was nothing on it there was no fruit on it but it had all of these thick leaves but no fruit okay and he cursed the tree and it did not completely die off at that time it was um i think it was it was the next day I think it was the next day when the disciples saw that oh it actually withered you know but um but yeah so he saw the tree it had no fruit on it when it's supposed to have fruit on it even though it wasn't in a season the fact that it had leaves on it it should have had fruit maybe from a previous season or things like that but it should have had fruit on it and it didn't so jesus cursed it and him cursing it was actually his judgment and i'm gonna get on i'm gonna get a little bit more in that but yeah so the first um uh, the outer layer the, of the blow pop actually comes in verse 20. So it says, early in the morning, as they were passing by, they saw a fig tree withered from its roots up. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you curse has withered. Jesus replied to them, have faith in God. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, anything you pray and ask for, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him so that your father in heaven will also forgive you in your wrongdoings. So yes, yeah, so this is the outer part of the layer. So um, the disciples, especially Peter, they were amazed that, wow, he cursed the fig tree and it withered in within like a day or two. And usually in order for a fig tree to die, it will take several weeks, maybe months. But they saw that, wow, this fig tree died within a day or two. And, you know, Jesus was giving um, the first lesson of having faith in what you pray for. He cursed it and believed that it was going to be dead it was going to wither you know and this is in the reason why he pointed this out to me i was actually at church and um you know i was like lord you know speak to me you know um, whatever you want me to you know know and um the one of the pastors said because it was multi it was a freedom night so most multiple pastors was coming up and reading scriptures and praying over us and things like that but the scripture that pointed out was um, Mark eleven twenty two, and it was to have faith. And that's something that I lack in is having faith in the things that God has promised me or just having faith in um, just, just having faith in multiple things. And that's something that he has been working on with me. And um, something that um, was said um, at that night was to to declare things over yourself so if god promised you these things declare that it that it has already been done you know if you need healing declare that you are healed if you are dealing with lack of faith you know declare that hey i am faithful i do have faith you know declare these things even though you don't see it yet you know and um yeah and that's what he was talking about have faith and do not doubt if you doubt that shows that you don't trust him it shows that you do not trust god and that's something that something else that he's been pointing out to me he was like kayla you don't trust me and that makes me sad and i don't want to make god sad so i've really been focusing on trusting in him trusting in him which will help me to have faith and what is helping me to trust in god and have faith in you know his promises and you know just different things that i ask for in prayer is to know his character you know you have to know god's character character in order to trust him in order to have an intimate relationship with him and the best way to know his character is through his word it's through his word um that's something that i've been studying is his character through his word and um it amazes me 
you know, every time I read his word and just, um, just to learn more about him. So um, that's something that has been helping me to have faith and declare things over myself. Um, is knowing his character and also knowing his power like his power has re resurrected you know um jesus you know the, yahweh's power has resurrected jesus jesus the power that he's was given from the father um brought lazarus up from the dead you know um it made the fig tree wither like his power is so great so not only do we trust in his character but we also trust in his power that he can work out miracles if you're sick or you know you have financial issues trust that his power is enough to change the whole situation you know having power you know um if you're seeking justice from a situation trust that justice will come in the timing and the way that he feels best you know trust Trust in him, trust in his character, trust in his power that things will work out. So, um, and I, that's what he was teaching um, the disciples at first. So the outer layer was to have faith in the things that you pray for, have faith. And the best way to have faith is to trust in his character and his power trust and declare those things over yourself declare those things. If you declare that, Hey, I will receive, um, um, no, not will receive, but those things that, um, those promises that he promised over me, I am walking through those open doors. I'm already experiencing the promises. I'm already walking through those promises. Declare those things over yourself. And that shows him that, oh, she trusts in me. She trusts in my timing. She trusts in what I am doing. Even though she may not see everything that I'm doing, she trusts that I am doing something, you know? And, um, and you know that pleases god you know that pleases god when you have faith in him and that you trust in him even when you don't know everything you know we're not going to always know everything i'm sorry my nose is itchy oh my goodness um <laughs> but yeah we're not going to know or understand everything that god is doing and his timing but if when you trust in him and have faith that pleases him and that also kind of speeds up the process a little bit too <laughs> or even if it doesn't speed up the process it gives you strength in the process you know and um anytime that because i sometimes lack faith i'm still working on faith and you know when i feel that okay my faith is um you know becoming weak it is okay to ask god be like hey my faith is becoming weak can you help me can you restore my faith he loves that he loves that you're humbling yourself enough to say hey i need help i need help with my faith i i my faith is becoming weak I, i've been waiting so long and I, still nothing has happened um i um things are just not looking so good you know my faith needs to be restored he wants you to come to him and ask you know him of those things restore my faith lord restore my faith help me to trust in you like i was a week ago or a month ago or months ago or last year you know help me and he will help you you know so um yeah that's the outer part is to have faith in what you pray for have faith in the things that god has declared over your life you know have faith in those things do not doubt because doubting means that you do not trust him and and that's basically calling god a liar he promised you these things but you have doubt it's saying it's calling god a liar and god is not a liar so if he promised those things over you it will happen if he says that you will be healed believe that you will be healed say that you are already healed even though you even though you may not see it even though your finances are the best hey say that i am financially stable i'm good i am good declare those things declare those things over yourself and watch how that will change your life so yeah that's the that's the outer part man oh that, that was the lesson he gave me all of this last night um just a little story um i was about to watch um i have disney plus and i really i'm on a binge to um watch all the old disney you know movies that i loved in the past um i am really enjoying this little season of watching these movies and i was about to watch um jungle to jungle to jungle with tim allen they does yeah i said because sometimes i say tom allen but it's tim allen so um yeah but um but yeah so i was about to press play and i heard his voice say read and i'm like mm, I'm about to watch this movie i got this popcorn in my lap i'm like oh <laughs> so then i pressed play and i just kept hearing that like 
pool to read and i'm like you know what okay so i press pause i put my popcorn over to the side and i was like okay lord i don't know what you want me to read i picked up my phone and went on the bible app and i was like lord i don't know what you want me to read but um okay just guide me to what you want me to read and i remember hearing his voice say mark the scripture that i gave you in church and it was mark 11 22 and that was that he gave me the outer part first was to have faith in the things that you pray for and that's in um my goodness it restored my faith because you know i was lacking faith in certain areas um and that's the thing too like we might have faith in these areas but there might be other areas that um we lack faith in and that's something that my devotional actually asked um was what are some areas that you have a hard time seeing god you know and i didn't know i really didn't know and God gave me my answer. <laughs> he gave me my answer of the area that I lack, that I have a hard time seeing him or have a hard time having faith in, you know, and um, he restored my faith with this um, scripture. So just having faith and the things that you pray for um so yes that is the outer part so now okay, so now let's get into this inner part of the blow pop message so we're still in mark 11 jesus he walked up to the fig tree because he was hungry and um he expected to bear fruit because it had leaves on it so for my gardeners or people who work in agriculture ag ag uh, that word agriculture <laughs> agriculture anyways <laughs> you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> um so yes so um yeah um fig fig trees if they have leaves on it it signifies to the person that oh it has uh figs on it and this tree the specific tree did not it had leaves but it had no fruit and jesus um you know cursed the tree and it made me wonder because i was like jesus it wasn't in its season but if it wasn't in the season of figs it wouldn't even have any leaves on it or maybe the leaves are just starting to grow maybe but it, the fact that it had leaves grown leaves it should it it should have had figs maybe from a previous season or something like that but even though it was not in the season, it had leaves, but it had no fruit, okay? And um, Jesus, he um, expected it to have fruit, and he did it, and he cursed it. And um, the tree signifies the Israelites. You know, the Israelites bearing leaves, but bearing no fruit. You know, going to church and, you know, reading their word and believing in Christ, but bearing no fruit from going to church and reading his word and you know praying and just bearing no fruit after doing all of those things you know and and jesus he ended up cursing the um and cursing the uh fig tree because it bared no fruit and that was that signifies judgment towards the israelites claiming to have a relationship with god you know um go and this is specifically the jewish leaders um and all the the other people who did not believe in Jesus but you know going to church and being in the temple and things like that but bearing no fruit bearing no spiritual fruit and you know that's not the intentions of God and um, if you look at Isaiah 27 verse 6 it says in the days to come Jacob will take root Israel will blossom and bloom and fill the whole world with fruit so that's the expectation for the Israelites to take root and to bloom and to blossom and to spread the spiritual fruits in the gospel to the whole world. And we did see that with the apostles, with the disciples, we did see that. But not all of the Israelites took root, bloomed, blossomed, and spread fruit. Not all of them did. And the ones that didn't, it was represented in this tree. And if you also read further to verse 15 all the way to 19, after he um cursed a fig tree he went to jerusalem he went to the temple and he saw the jews selling things in the house of the lord in the father's temple and jesus said that my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations but you have made it a den of thieves this is supposed to be a house where god where people connect with god pray to god and you know 
you know gain a closer relationship with god and that's how you gain fruit but them even though they were in the temple and even though they believed in you know the father they were not bearing any fruit and you could see that with them trying to sell items and gain profit in the house of the lord you know so um so that's what Jesus was talking about. You know, not all Israelites, not all Jews were this fig tree that bared no fruit. Like I said, um, the the disciples, the the apostles, they were those trees that had um, leaves and bared fruit and was doing the work of the Lord. So how does that apply to us today? So if god were to inspect your tree just how he went to that tree when he was hungry when he goes to you and expects your tree what will he see will he see a tree with just leaves on it and pretending to have fruit because when a fake tree has leaves on it it's supposed to have fruit or are you going to be a tree that has leaves and actually has fruit what tree would you be you know and it's okay if you don't know you know that's why you know um it's fortunate fortunately we have a god that will give us the answer if you're not sure ask him ask him what kind of tree are you and when you ask be open to receive what he is going to say you know you know a lot of the times we like to ask god hey you know um, what do you think of this or can you give me an answer on this? Can you give me an answer on that? When he gives us an answer, we don't really like that answer, you know So just make sure when you ask him what kind of tree you are be open to what he has to say You know and sometimes we might be a tree that bears some fruit But not all the spiritual fruits because that's what he's talking about the spiritual fruits of love and um and of patience and peace and faith and humility and you know other spiritual fruits i believe it's in galatians i will put it in the description but um um yeah that's what he's talking about bearing those fruits and um me i definitely was a tree that bared some fruits but did not bear all and he exposed to me the things that i need to work on and it was peace and faith and that's right now something that i'm working on and um and i'm okay to say that hey those are two spiritual fruits that i'm working on is faith and um peace and when you are okay with admitting like hey there's some things that I need to work on. It's actually building your spiritual fruit of humility because if you're prideful, prideful people don't bend. They they will not, you know, accept that they have maybe things that they have to work on or, you know, things like that. But, you know, you saying, accepting, hey, there are some things I need to work on or maybe my tree does not bear any fruit or maybe it bears some fruit and I and God wants me to bear more, and this is what he's guiding me to work on, you know, is building your fruit of humu humility, which is humbleness, you know? Um, humbleness makes room for you to grow. So um, yeah, that's what that inner part is. And you know, some that's why I mentioned um, earlier in the video that um, some people might not like this message or say that, hey, I don't have no um, spiritual fruit that I need to work on, da, 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 because it really requires you to do a lot of self-reflection it takes strength to admit that okay there's some things that i need to work on and it's okay if you have some things that you need to work on what comes after that growth and plenty of blessings <laughs> okay so it's okay so um yeah just that's the inner part of this blow pop message what kind of tree are you and you want to be the tree like the disciples and like the apostles and the other people that truly believed in christ and not just believing in christ but also having an intimate relationship with him too you know a lot of people they believe in christ but they don't have an intimate relationship with him it's just a religion to them to just go to church give their tithes take communion and that's it you know read your word and that's it but it doesn't you know change you at all you know it doesn't help you to grow at all you're still the same person when you come to christ you're not supposed to just stay in the position that you came in you know you come as you are and when you come as you are when 
afterwards you're supposed to change you know so you know you don't want to be that tree that you know comes to christ but you bear no fruit you don't change at all you want to be a tree that comes to christ and then after building a relationship with christ you know reading your word going to church you know getting into ministry and you know whatever else the holy spirit does within you you bear fruit you know so yeah so that's the um inner part of this blow pop message and i hope you guys received like i did because when i when he gave me this message last night i was like wow. and to know if you actually have these th uh, fruits is actually to go through a testing season you know it's easier to seem like you have these fruits when everything is going your way and you know things are good but when you actually go through a testing season when you actually go through something and ex it exposes if you actually have these fruits do you actually bear these fruits um for example like um you know the spirit of um, the spirit of faith the spiritual fruit of faith um when you're going through a waiting season that will expose if you actually have faith you know and that's something that happened with me it exposed to me that hey i need to work on faith because you know i'm in a waiting season right now and it's tough it is tough you know but um it's exposing to me that i need to have more faith and trust in god that he is working and that he sees me and that he's still with me and you know things like that so um also with my spiritual fruit of pay, uh, peace that's something that i am working on right now you know it's easier to um feel like you have peace when everything is going your way but what about and then your surrounding is quiet and things like that but what happens when there's a lot of noise around you and let's say you're a mom you got a crazy household or you know or just you, you're going through financial troubles or just things like that like that will let you know if you actually have peace you know even in the midst of the storm I will still stay calm like I was still trusting God and not worry and not stress and not freak out you know so that will let you know if you have the spiritual fruit of peace if you have the spiritual uh, fruit of love you'll be love you'll be able to love everyone you know even the people that you disagree with and the people that you may not have the best relationship with you will still love them and see them as you know someone that christ died for you know and seeing them as a child of god you know the bible calls us not to just love people that love us but people it it calls us to love our enemies too and i don't want to say enemies because in my eyes the only enemy that i got is satan okay <laughs> that's the only person i got beef with okay <laughs> but anybody else is just maybe a brother or sister in christ that we might not see eye to eye at this moment you know and it's okay but i'm still called to love them you know but if you have a hard time loving someone because of any apparent reason it that's a spiritual fruit that you need to work on and that is okay you know that is okay you know um you know sometimes we're trees that bear some fruit but those fruits are still growing it's not fully ripe and that's okay because that means that god is working on you that means god is working on you you know so that is this blow pop message i hope you receive from it like i did and um yeah this this word was good i i so thankful so thankful so yes please continue to get closer to christ please do not take advantage of the grace and mercy that he has given us okay please grow in your relationship with christ and not just stay stagnant and stay in the same place grow 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 and get closer to him elevate and get closer to him okay so yes thank you for watching and i just pray you have a wonderful rest of your day thank you